Hello and welcome to Down to Earth. I'm Daphne Richards. This week's question is, what is the difference between a cultivar and a variety? Well, I often hear these terms used interchangeably, and there really isn't that much difference as far as the average gardener is concerned. But to plant breeders, horticulturists, and botanists, there is a very clear distinction. Varieties are plants with slightly different and usually desirable characteristics from other plants in its same species. Varieties may have more attractive flowers, a dwarfed stature, a trailing instead of upright growth habit, tastier fruit, etc. Varieties of the same plant are naturally occurring and are usually found in geographically distinct regions from each other, but they hybridize easily if brought into contact. If you see the shortened VAR, then a third name on a plant tag after the species name, that indicates that the plant is a variety. But these days, you're more likely to see plant tags with the initial CV or a third name in single quotes after the species name than you are to see VAR. CV indicates that the plant is a cultivar, which means that humans were involved in its creation. In the early history of man's relationship with plants, many cultivars arose from the simple act of human cultivation. But these days, the creation of cultivars is big business with the race to crossbreed species and varieties to come up with the latest and greatest new thing, a thriving industry. Large companies release new cultivars marketed specifically to those gardeners with a discerning eye and a bent towards the progressive. But cultivars are also meant to catch the eye of the more casual gardener who sees the plant's fabulous, or at the very least fabulously marketed, attributes. And just like other man-made items, companies want to protect their investment, so cultivars are patented meaning that no other company can reproduce or sell that plant until the patent has expired. The knockout rose, seen by some as the easiest, most carefree rose on the market, is an example of a cultivar, or actually a series of cultivars, since now there are knockout roses with many different flower colors than the original bright cherry red. Our plant this week is also a cultivar, Euphorbia diamond frost. This delicate looking little plant is actually quite tough and has withstood the test of time in many Central Texas gardens. Although it is only listed as hardy to zone 10 and we're zone 8, my friend Pam tucked it in amongst some other plants to insulate it from the cold. And a few of her diamond frosts came back after our incredibly cold temperatures in the winter of this year. It has also withstood our hottest summer on record. The key to getting this annual to be a perennial is to disregard the label which says to plant it in sun to part sun. In hotter, brighter climates such as ours, diamond frost should be planted in an area with bright, filtered light or light shade. Receiving morning sun should also be okay. It gets only 12 to 18 inches tall and wide and is covered with delicate white blooms for most of its growing season. If planted in shade, diamond frost requires little supplemental irrigation, but do be careful not to let it dry out. But if you do lose it to heat or cold, simply treat it as an annual and replant it in the spring. It's truly a plant that will be unique in your garden, but it's also not a plant that you may be able to find at this time of year and not really appropriate to plant in the fall since it is cold sensitive. This is a great one to look for next spring in your garden. Augie's pet of the week is Pierre, a mini, pincher, chihuahua, and dachshund mix. As a puppy, he keeps his dad, Michael, busy, but there's nothing he likes better than to go out and smell the flowers and chase some squirrels in the morning. He also has great play dates with his friend, Augie. Thanks, Michael and Pierre, for sending in this great picture. To do in your garden this week, if you haven't divided your spring and summer flowering perennials, go ahead and finish that up now. We'd love to hear from you please visit klru.org ctg to send us your questions, plants, and pets of the week. Mm -hmm.